So getting comfy. Um, what we're going to do, oh thank you, um, is we're going to do um, a little breathe um, for balance because I think and I feel just from talking to my friends and my clients that there's this a little bit of imbalance at the moment from us being at home for so long and adjusting to our lives and now readjusting to kind of a little bit of normality um, but not feeling like we're ready or feeling like we're pushed to go out more than maybe that we would like and I was thinking about that I was thinking about balance you know what's that for me and I think um, I like the kind of the you know that ebb and flow of looking for the balance uh, but I think it's just um, for me about awareness about when things are out of balance and then to look at ways to rebalance myself which I've been doing a lot of recently actually and um, yeah it's been wonderful Anyway, so we're going to do um, an exercise first um, for um, balance. Um, this exercise I like to call like a, a water type of exercise because you can do um, this at any time, morning, lunchtime or at night, like water, you can take it whenever you would like. And for a balance, if you're feeling too hyper, too active in your sympathetic state, it can really, really calm you down. And also if you're feeling just a bit too lethargic as well, it can bring you up and make you feel, you know, quite focused, um, quite um, tension release -y. It's really lovely. Um, it is nice also before sleep as well. It is really relaxation um, type of exercise. And it's super, super simple. And this one you can adapt to what feels good for you. So what we're gonna be doing is breathing through the nose and we're just gonna be inhaling for the count of four and exhaling for the count of four, really nice and simple. Now you might find that this is too easy for your lung capacity, you might have um, your really juicy big lungs and you wanna breathe a bit more, you can do in for five and out for five or even in for six and out for six. And I like playing around with this one sometimes going as high as 10 um, and 15 the other day I was doing 15 in an hour but you can just really play with it um, and also on the other end of the spectrum like children or if you've got weakened lungs for whatever reason you can just do you know in for three and out for three until you're feeling confident with that and then going in for four and out for four so just playing with that yourself and um, we're just going to do a few rounds of this balance breathing exercise and then we're going to do just a few minutes of conscious connected breathing just to reconnect um, and drop into our bodies, come out of our heads and um, find a bit of balance in that too. So if you're seated down, make sure you have the soles of your feet placed firmly on the ground. It's just a really nice grounding feeling for your body to do that. Um, and you can have a hand on your chest space, hand on your belly space if you'd like, I think that feels nice. Or if you know that you don't breathe in your chest, you could have both your hands here. Or if you know that you don't breathe into your belly, you could have both of your hands on your lower belly. And if you're not really sure, then it is good to have one on each so you can try and work it out and try and get some nice balance between the belly and the chest breath. So when you're ready, we're gonna start inhaling for four and out for four, but like I said, just adapt that um, for yourself. And also really focus on, you know, using the diaphragm area, getting some lateral movement as well when you're inhaling and exhaling. And if you're not sure how that feels, you can pop your hands here and see if you can feel that lateral movement on the inhale and the exhale. So when you're ready, we're gonna inhale, two, three, four, exhale, two, three, four, inhale, two, three, four, exhale, two, three, four, inhale, two, three, four, exhale, two, three, four, inhale, two, three, four, Exhale, two, three, four. Inhale, two, three, four. Exhale, two, three, four. And just carry on, inhaling for four, exhaling for four. And perhaps just checking in with yourself now with how easy you're finding that or how difficult you're finding that and then just making any adjustments as you wish. And also perhaps just thinking about 
what balance is for you. Is there anything that you need to readjust, you know, within your just day to day? Anything that you might have missed? And just taking these few moments of this breath to really check in. What is that I need to balance in my life? Or what do I need more of? Or what do I need less of? And just spending a few moments thinking about that as you inhale, two, three, four, exhale, two, three, four, 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 last one, inhale, two, three, four, exhale, two, three, four, just dropping back just to your normal breath and just checking in with your body how did that make you feel or did your mind just start chatting away about what you've got to do later or what happened today earlier on or could you be really focused with your breath in your body so we're now just going to do um, a few minutes of conscious connected breathing if you've not done this uh, technique before with me then you can do it through the nose it's really nice and soft to do through the nose if you've done this technique before then you know what you're doing just make sure you're seated or lay down and you can do it through the mouth and all other times day-to-day -day breathing we should be breathing through our nose but there's certain breathing techniques that can be really delicious through the mouth and this is one of them um, but if you don't feel comfortable just please do it through the nose it's really really enjoyable to do it that way too and but I find sometimes with through the nose it goes to the head and to the mouth actually I think can connect to the body sometimes a bit more but up to you to choose so a conscious connected breathing technique is a, a lovely deep inhale and it goes immediately into an exhale and then that goes immediately into the inhale and then immediately into the exhale. So this is this long, continuous, infinity loop of breath, which can feel a bit odd because in normal day-to-day -day we do pause in between our inhale and exhales. So it's just a circular breath, a loop of breath of inhale to exhale, exhale to inhale. So it can feel a little bit strange if you've not done it before. But you'll soon find your rhythm. Just imagine waves of an ocean, you know, just coming and going and you'll find your own rhythm as well. So when you're ready again, just make sure you're really comfortable as well. And it'd be really nice just to really focus on getting the breath really nice and down, deep into our hips, deep into our bellies. We hold a lot of tension and emotion all around um, our hip space. So really focus on bringing the breath all the way down the spine and down into that hip space. And you can just really imagine that you can have your hands in a upside down triangle, just really low on your lower pelvis. And just really imagine the breath coming really down deep into that part of your body when we're doing the technique. So when you're ready, perhaps closing down your eyes if you haven't already, or just lowering your gaze if you're seated. I'm gonna take a first deep inhale, deep into the lower belly, into the chest, and then immediately let go. And then we're gonna inhale deep into the belly, into the chest and let go and then we're going to connect that breath so i'm slightly constricting my throat just so you can hear what it sounds like but it can be really really soft if you when you do it yourself you don't have to make any sound at all so just keep that breath coming So 
extending that breath deep into the lower pelvis, deep into the hips. You can actually little do a little massage around the hip bones as well. Get your hands kind of into the hip joint there and just release any tension. If you come across anything a bit sore, you can do little circular acupressure mo um, circular motions around that, those points. Just releasing any tension around that hip area. But keep sending the breath there. Keep breathing, keep doing the breathing technique. Sending the breath deep into the hips, deep into the pelvis. And again, just thinking about that intention of balance for today. And really dropping now, dropping from your head, dropping into your heart, dropping into your belly, dropping into your breath, and just dropping into your body. And just really enjoying just these few moments of breath. You really feel that breath deep into the belly, up into the chest, and then letting go. Thinking about balance for you. What balance do you need to bring to your life? Is there anything at all? What are you willing to let go of? What do you need more of? And just listening to your body's messages, listening to that intuition. And thinking about your goals, your life goals, thinking are they all in balance? And just knowing it's safe to look in, safe to listen in, listening into your body's messages, which can often come to us when we're doing some breath work, when we move from that better to our theta brainwave, we can get these messages of just deep listening. And knowing that all that you seek is already deep within you, knowing that everything will work out just the way it's meant to be. Just keeping that breath connected, deep inhale, lovely soft sigh and exhale, no forcing that exhale, just letting that exhale just drop lovely and softly from your throat. If you're feeling any tension around the shoulders, just scrunching them up, letting them go, just making sure that exhale is a lovely soft sigh of letting go and you're really letting go of that exhale. Just sending your body some gratitude as well, just for turning up for a few moments of breath. Just checking in with your body, sending in that gratitude. How does it feel when you send yourself some gratitude? And letting go of any other resistance you might be feeling. That mind chatter. Every area of your life is in balance. So just a few more connected breaths from inhale to exhale. Balancing your breath, balancing your thoughts. knowing that everything is revealed to you at the perfect time. And then just stop dropping back now, just to your normal nasal breath. Checking in with your body, seeing what those few moments of breath has made you feel in your mind, in your body. Do you feel more balanced, more relaxed, more calm? I hope so. So just enjoying that breathwork shavasana just for a moment or two. And thank you so much.
much for joining me this evening. I've been doing my Friday Night Lives once a month now. And if you're interested, I do a, a monthly online breathing workshop. And uh, yeah, that's um, the link in my bio if you're interested in finding a bit more about that, a bit more of a deeper dive. I would love to see you there. And we have lovely small groups as I think it's really important that I can see you and pay attention to you. Lovely. So thank you so much for joining me. It's been wonderful. I hope you have a really, really lovely weekend. Uh, give yourself a hug from me. I think self-hug breathe is the best too. So thank you very much and take care. Bye-bye.